Hello friends, my name is Miss Corrine. I'm a children's librarian at the Baxter Patrick Library on James Island. Welcome to Hamster 101. Have you ever wanted to get a pet hamster? Well, today I will share with you all about basic hamster care. Hamsters may be small, but they have very big needs. There are many choices to make once you decide to get a pet hamster. One of the first things you'll need to do is choose which type of hamster you would like to get. There are five species of hamsters. There's the Roborovsky hamster, the Campbell's dwarf hamster, the Chinese hamster, the Syrian hamster, and the winter white hamster. And they all vary in terms of size, personality, and how long they will live. Most hamsters live between two to three years. It's very important to never put two hamsters in the same hamster home because they will fight. And in the wild, hamsters actually live by themselves. They're solitary. So it's okay for your hamster to be by itself. Now, I wanna introduce you to my hamster. Let me get her here. This is Rapunzel, and she is a Campbell's Dwarf hamster. And when I first got Rapunzel, this is the cage I chose for her. I thought it was perfect. I mean, it's a pink castle after all. But guess what I found out? It's too small for Rapunzel. Hamsters actually need 450 square inches minimum for their hamster home. That's the size of this aquarium tank. And you may wonder why in the world would a, such a tiny creature need such a big home? And that is because in the wild, hamsters live underground to stay safe from other animals who might try to eat them. And what they do is they dig down into the ground and make tunnels, and they have special rooms where they store food, where they eat, where they sleep, and where they go to the bathroom, kind of like in your house. And just like the wild hamsters, your pet hamsters has, they have the same needs. So they need enough space to be able to dig tunnels down into their bedding and to make those special rooms for their food, etc. So you can choose to have a wire hamster cage or a glass tank hamster cage, but just make sure that it has that 450 square inch minimum for the floor space. If you do choose to get a metal hamster cage, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the bottom is solid so their feet won't get caught. If you choose to have a glass tank cage, you're gonna to need to get a top for your tank like this. That will keep your hamster in and other pets out. So, now we need to talk about where you're gonna put your hamster home. You're gonna to wanna to choose a very quiet place away from direct sunlight or drafty windows or doors. What in the world should you put inside your hamster home? There are a few essentials. You're going to want to choose paper bedding that is not scented and not choose any type of wood bedding because that will cause breathing problems for your hamster. You need to have a minimum of six inches of paper bedding for your hamster home. That gives your hamster enough room to make those tunnels. You will also need to get a water bottle like this little one and make sure that it has fresh water in it every single day. You'll also need a dish for the hamster food. Hamsters love to hide, so it's very important to have little places where they can hide like this little house. Now hamsters are very clean and they groom themselves just like cats, but you can get hamster sand and put it in a little dish and they will bathe in the sand. Hamsters love to run and play. In the wild, a hamster can run anywhere between six to 12 miles in one night when they're looking for food. So it is very important that you choose the right hamster wheel for your hamster because your hamster will probably run about six miles at night. Now you're like, why at night? Why not during the day? Because hamsters are nocturnal. That means they sleep during the day and they're awake all night. So your hamster wheel needs to be solid and not made of wire because their little feet could get caught. It also needs to be 
large enough for your hamster so their back won't get hurt. A dwarf hamster is going to need about six to eight, eight inches for their wheel, and the Syrian, which is a larger hamster, is going to need one that's about 11 inches. All right, so now we need to talk about what type of food hamsters eat. Hamsters are omnivores, which means they can eat a variety of foods. They can eat seeds and nuts, fresh fruits and vegetables, and lean protein like chicken. All right, and they also like to have little treats, like here's a little treat stick for Rapunzel. One interesting thing about hamsters is that their teeth never stop growing. So you need to have some little wood chews like that so they can chew the wood and keep their teeth short enough. All right, so now we need to talk about how you would clean your hamster home. Because it's so big, hamsters usually go to, to the bathroom in one area. So you'll just need to remove that soil bedding every day. And then once a month, what you're gonna do is you're going to get a natural cleaner like vinegar and water and kind of clean what needs to be cleaned inside the hamster home and remove some of the paper bedding, but not all of it. Because hamsters have scent glands and they mark their bedding. And if you take all of it out, they have to start all over and it creates a lot of stress for them. So you don't want to do that. All right. So once you have your hamster home completely set up, then it's time to go get your hamster to bring home. Where are you gonna get the hamster from? You can choose to get a hamster from an adoption center, like a pet shelter, or from a pet store, or from a responsible breeder. Now, once you bring your hamster home, you're this is the hard part, you're gonna place your hamster into their new home and then leave them alone for about two to three days and not pick them up because this will give them time to get used to their new home. And then, once it is time to pick them up, I have a special trick to show you. What I use is the cup method. So here's a measuring cup, and as you see, I've got some seeds and nuts in there. And then what I'll do is I will take the measuring cup, put it into the tank, Rapunzel will crawl in, and then I will remove her. The reason for this is hamsters have really bad vision. So if, they, if she sees a giant hand coming down, hand coming down towards her, she might bite it because she thinks it's a, some type of an animal trying to get her. So that makes it less stressful for her. So that is basic hamster care. And there's so much more you can learn about hamsters and how to care for them. And we have so many books at the library all about hamsters. So please come to the library and check out books about hamsters to learn more. Thank you so much for joining us for Hamster 101. We hope to see you in the library very soon.